We're going to show you how to use Ignite VST's Vice One Compressor, which is yours for free with Computer Music Magazine 233, to mix a hip hop beat, taking it from this. to this. To get started, create a new 137 BPM project in your DAW and load the WAV files beginning beat onto separate tracks. Loop it up and take a listen. And by the way, the 808 style kick and snare was synthesized with the incredible Bazilla CM synth by Yuhi that's also yours for free with Computer Music Magazine. Now listen carefully to the beat for areas that need improvement. The most obvious problem is that the kick drum lacks harmonics and fades away too quickly. So add Vice One to its track and let's reshape it. Some of Vice One's parameters are designed to be set by ear rather than eye so they deliberately lack an obvious numerical readout. Even so, there are markings all the way around them that we'll refer to as 0 to 10. We want to hit Vice 1 pretty hard here to drive its saturation section in an obvious way, so increase input gain to 7.8 and push the saturation knob up to halfway. The tone is better now, and the added harmonics will make the kick audible on smaller speaker systems that cannot reproduce its low fundamental frequency. It's still fading away too fast though. Bring ratio up to 3, and threshold up to minus 12 dB. We want precision compression here, so select the digital mode and the hard knee. Now adjust attack and release to alter the character of the impact. Note how the compression itself can distort the signal with certain settings which is a useful effect. We settle on 2 for both controls for a solid, smooth sound. The kick is very loud now, so turn it down to minus 5 dB in your DAWs mixer. Next up, the snare. Whack a Vice 1 on it as we want to crush the transient and body together to create a more cohesive punch. Leave threshold at minus 25 dB and increase ratio to 4. To crush each snare hit, use the digital mode and set attack to 0 and release to 0.5. We're not seeing any compression yet, but increase the input gain to 6.5 and make up gain to 1.5 and saturation to maximum to add grit and intensity. The hi-hats transients are quite perky. If we can flatten those down, we can turn the hats up louder without them getting irritating. Add Vice 1, set it to digital mode with a hard knee, then set a threshold to minus 28, and ratio right up to 10. We'll need a very fast attack to deal with such quick transients, so set attack to 0 and release to 1 so the compressor recovers quickly enough to allow the body of the hits through untouched. 
If you toggle bypass, you'll find that the compression has actually made the transients even more obvious. That's because the compressor kicks in just after each hit begins, which emphasises transients. We can use Vice One's look ahead to make it seem to react ahead of time. Turn it up to 7 and hear how the transient pop disappears. The compressor is now reducing the level just before each hit begins. To finish off the hi-hats, increase makeup gain to 1.5 to bring them up in the mix. One thing to look out for is that look ahead processing causes latency, and if you're noticing timing or phasing issues when using it, you may need to disable and re-enable the plugin for your host door to properly compensate for the extra processing time. On the synth part, light compression brings the high note, which is louder than the others, into line without ruining the dynamics. And on the Vox channel, we smash the signal with look ahead compression to bring the delay tails up. Dedicate. 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 We send the three drum tracks to a group bus and process them as a whole with Vice One. We're using very gentle settings here to get no more than 1 dB of gain reduction. The main effect of this is a subtle pump to the hi-hats whenever the kick drum plays. On the master bus, we're using four plugins, all from the CM Plugins collection that's free with Computer Music Magazine. First is Lindell Audio's 6X500CM with the controls left at default, so it works like an analog style preamp, adding very gentle saturation. Next is Overtone DSP's Program EQ CM, which is a pull text style EQ. We don't need to add any more bass to this track, but we can use it to add presence in the 5kHz range, while gently attenuating the entire treble with the attenuation knob. This is a classic trick for shifting the emphasis and focus of the upper frequencies without them getting harsh. The EQ is followed by Vice 1 using the digital mode and a slow attack and fast release for a smooth levelling action. The threshold and ratio are set to give us no more than 1 dB of gain reduction. Finally, Tone Booster's Barricade CM invisibly maximizes the level of the track. All of this adds up to a solid and powerful overall mix, made possible with just a few instances of Vice One. So that's Vice One from Ignite VST, and it's all yours for free with Computer Music 233. As well as premium mix processors, Ignite VST specialise in sound sources for hip hop, trap, and RB producers. Get on over to their site, ignitevst.com, to find out all about their exciting range of plugins, expansions, and sample packs. <laughs>